What's up guys, my name is Preston Palmer. I'm an engineering student like most of you guys are. And in this video, we're gonna go over vectors. So, a vector is a quantity with both a magnitude and a direction. So as an example, Say you were giving directions to someone as to how to get to the post office. You wouldn't just say it's four blocks. You'd say it's four blocks that way. So four blocks is the magnitude and that way is the direction. So we can draw vectors as arrows with the direction being the way it's pointing and the magnitude being how long the arrow is. So we're going to say this is 10 units long and 45 degrees off the x-axis. Like that. So we can say this vector, we'll call it vector f, and the way you label vectors is you put an arrow over the top of the variable. Like that. That's how you do it usually handwritten. And in your book you might see it being bolded. something like that. So another term you need to know is a scalar. A scalar is like a vector but it only has a magnitude. You'll do math on vectors and you'll come up with scalar values which just means that it doesn't have a direction. So like any quantity you can do math on vectors and we'll start with addition. So let's say we have two vectors. Vector A, we'll call this vector A and vector B. And let's say we want to add vector A to vector B, so A plus B, and we'll call the result vector C. So what we do is we use what's called the parallelogram law. And that's where we put the tail of A to the head of B, and the result will be the arrow between them. So we'll draw A again, we'll draw B, coming off of it like that. And so vector C is gonna be this arrow. So subtraction is very similar to addition in that we just make one, the one we're subtracting negative. So say we want a negative B. We're just gonna write, draw B going the opposite direction. Still gonna have the same length just a different going in the opposite direction. So to subtract them, we'll say a minus b equals vector d, draw a, and a negative b and we'll call the result d. So multiplying and dividing is very similar in that we just make the vector arrow longer or shorter. And so it basically only affects the magnitude of the arrow. So say again, we have vector A. And we want to multiply it by two. Well, we're just gonna draw it twice as long. So this will be two A. Say we want to divide it by 2, well you basically just multiply it by its reciprocal. So the reciprocal of 2 is 1 half. So if we want 1 half a, or divide it by 2, we'll just have half the length. So that's multiplying, dividing, subtracting, and adding vectors. Pretty simple. Alright guys, we're going to use what we've learned about vectors to solve a problem. And so what we have here is an eye hook that's coming out of the ceiling and it's being pulled on by two different ropes, one being pull, pulling 40 pounds and one pulling with 20 pounds of force. And they're coming off the, what, we, what we're going to call the x-axis that's going through the middle of the hook at 60 degrees and at 45 degrees. 
So what we need to determine is what the resultant force is on this eye hook, the resultant force of these two ropes pulling on it, and what the direction it is pulling at. So what we're going to do is we're going to represent the ropes as vectors, and we're going to do that by drawing them as arrows. So we're going to draw the 40 pound force as an arrow, a little bit longer, coming off at 60 degrees. And then the 20 pound force coming off of that and off of this it's going to be going 45 degrees. Now the resultant vector is going to go from the tail of this one to the head of this one. But that doesn't really tell us much, right? We need to find the length of this arrow and the direction that it is off the x-axis. So we're going to do that using a little trick. And we're going to use the law of cosines and the law of sines. So doing that, we can see that because these two lines are parallel, we know that this angle and this angle are the same. So that's going to be 60 degrees. So when you add these two sides, when you add these two angles up, it is going to equal 105 degrees. So what we have now, guys, is a triangle with one side of 40 and one side of 20 and the angle between them. So we know we're going to use the law of cosines because its formula gives us two sides and one angle between them to plug in. So we're going to plug in these numbers. We'll call this side C. We'll say C equals the square root of 40 squared plus 20 squared minus 2 times by 40 times by 20 times by the cosine of 105 degrees. All right, and I've already calculated this out, and you end up getting that C has a length of 49.13. And remember, this is in pounds because these are pulling with a force. And so this side's going to be 49 can be 49.13 pounds. So that's how hard it's pulling, 49.13 pounds. But we also need to figure out the direction that it's pulling. And so we're gonna solve for this angle here, we'll call it A, and we'll call this side A, big A. So we're gonna solve for this angle and we're gonna need to use the law of sines. So we'll plug in these values, we're gonna use this one and this one and we're going to say that 20 divided by the sine of A equals 49.13 divided by the sine of 105 degrees. And so we're going to do a little bit of algebra, multiply this to this side, multiply the sine of 105 over and divide 49.13, and then take the arc sine of that and we'll get A equals 23.15 degrees. Okay, so we got the angle, but that's not the final answer. We know that this angle is 23.15, and since we're going to measure off the positive x-axis going counterclockwise, it's going to have all this, which we'll know is 180 degrees, plus the 60, plus the 23.15. So you add all those up, and I get that this angle right here is 263.2 degrees. So that's it. That gives us the direction. If we draw on here, we'll have something like this coming off. Erase that. Get it out of our way. We'll have a force, a resultant force coming off that's pulling with 49.13 pounds of force 
and this angle is 263.2 degrees. So that's it guys, thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit that like button. And if you want more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. It helps out a lot. Thanks.